Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we're looking at another bonkers issue of Starbrand by John Byrne. Um, this is definitely one of the more out there things that John Byrne has ever done. Uh, I love John Byrne, huge fan in case you haven't noticed if you watch this channel. Um, so this will be fun to take a look at something a little off the beaten path. Anyway, uh, can't wait to show it to you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button and let's get right into it. All right, so I want to say John Byrne came onto the Star Brand with like issue number 11, Star Brand being the premiere title from the new universe, uh, pretty much launched. Like, there's so many things wrong with the history of this. Uh, to celebrate Marvel's 30th anniversary, Jim Shooter thought the best way to do that would be to launch a new universe of characters for Marvel fans to like. And like, how ill-conceived is that? Like, to celebrate 30 years of great characters that took 30 years to build and people love, you do great stories to celebrate those characters and elevate them in some form or fashion. So it was destined to flop. And then you're just expecting people to buy all these books of these characters nobody's ever heard of. And then you lose funding, and then you're sort of just like back borrowing and stealing artists and writers to get the job and the books done and doing a lot of it yourself. What could go wrong? And then John Byrne, like uh, notorious feud with Jim Shooter, takes over Starbrand, like blows up Pittsburgh, Jim Shooter's hometown, like all seemingly, arguably, like just to troll Jim Shooter, which seems kind of crazy but seems pretty viable if you know anything about john Byrne. but anyway <clears throat> let's look at this issue so star brand is like the the gym shooter character who gets like this brand on his hand and then he gets these powers and blah 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 where did it come from this that and the other and then the star baby takes over at some point under john Byrne, and john Byrne draws terrible children i mean look how scary that looks even just from behind Although this is like John Byrne awesomeness happening. First of all, I love like the bright pink. This is actually like a really cool logo. I think that um, Star Brand, like the new universe was very hit or miss, mostly missed and did offer not a lot of greatness, but it did have a few things. And this, for better or worse, was the one that I probably followed. I mean, it did start with John Romita Jr. on art and then John Byrne took over, so, I mean, could be worse, right? John Byrne, writer, breakdowns, which means that he's just doing, like, super loose pencils. Someone's coming in with the inks and finishes, which will be Chris Ivey and Tom Morgan. Hmm. Um, I think that it was Tom Palmer at first. Uh, now the star baby travels back to the pit and discovers the new life, which has formed there. So Pittsburgh's been blown up and like it's radioactive. And so now there's like craziness happening. I love this. This is so cartoonish. It's funny because John Byrne really does draw great like monsters and like sci-fi uh, characters. And like he definitely can draw modern looking scary mon monsters or vintage looking. And this definitely is giving me like vintage sort of like sci-fi vibes. I love it. Like the humanness in the eyes happening it's funny because obviously these breakdowns are loose uh and i mean chris ivy and uh tom morgan aren't like huge associated with uh john burns so it's kind of interesting to see but you can definitely see the essence of burn it's funny that kind of giving giving me a little bit of uh Steranko vibes for some reason, but um, what do I know, right? But actually, I'm kind of loving this art. <laughs> like I said, like you can definitely, um, <laughs> I love it. Like John Byrne just draws hot men for some reason. Like he just looks kind of sexy on the treadmill with his like underwear on, and we get a back view. Um, the Star Brand is actually a cool brand there. And this baby is kind of crazy flying around like a John Byrne do, does draw like devastation and like destruction and like rubble 
and what he calls Argle Bargle very well. Hmm. Cool, fun use of Zipatone. Like, I don't know. Like, like, what is going on here? Like, this is just so crazy. This, like, super-powered baby just, like, visiting the destruction of Pittsburgh. And it's, like, horrifying. There's, like, corpses floating around and, like, cars. And, like, I love this bookshelf with books still on it. Like, that is so hysterical. Because this is underwater, right? Obviously. <laughs> And then tentacles. This is actually, I think I, I cracked the code. Like, this is just John Byrne doing some crazy, like, homage to the 50s and 60s, like, science fiction. It has to be. With a touch of Stephen King. And some fun zip tone <laughs> I mean... And still, obviously, I'm I'm there for anything John Byrne, but <laughs> I mean, this is no Fantastic Four, right? Just a lot of this stuff, <laughs> a lot of like big, expansive pages. Not your usual John Byrne fair. I mean, that is just one crazy, scary looking child. Oh, and here's the star band <laughs> driving around. The guy Jay stunt braced on a gym shooter, drinking while driving a motorcycle on a cliff. Hysterical. I love it. And then in he goes off the cliff and dies. Is that what happened? Like, is that how he unceremoniously killed him? That would not be the first time John Byrne has unceremoniously killed somebody. Um, it reminds me of the way Terry Long died, almost off panel. Anyway, and then here comes some weird, like, backup story. I don't know, man. Like, I feel like the new universe probably went on way longer than it was supposed to. Oh, man, I don't remember having this, and I sure hope I have it somewhere in my collection because that looks freaking amazing. Anyway, so that was another bonkers issue of Starbrand by John Byrne. Oh, Excalibur. See, it was a good time in comics still, though. Yeah, see, like, I would have gotten none of these if not for John Byrne. Anyway, that's Star Brand, number 15, John Byrne, New Universe. Take it or leave it. Thanks for watching. Share my content. Hit that like button, and I'll bring you some more later. Thanks, guys.